Yeah, Sidon does, but no, the province that was being swapped around was Syracuse in Sicily. Oh, that I didn't know. Okay, I thought it was just Sidon. No. Gotcha. Okay. No, the, the they transferred that. I'm not sure what the shenanigans was, because they wouldn't tell me, but they were up to something. It didn't work out, so they were just returning the land to its rightful owner. Gotcha. Okay, that makes more sense then. Yeah, I don't know what they were actually up to. Um, and um, fewer and Marsh, i.e. Austria and the Ottomans, have... Because although Austria is being controlled by an AI, the player is watching the stream. Okay. Um, we're having a lengthy discussion about the terms of the peace treaty after the <laughs> after the uh, AI attacked... Well, actually attacked Congo, but Congo called Ottomans... Yes, okay. Um... I basically said that you can do whatever you like as long as the Ottomans can't take any longer. Yeah, I'll leave that up to you to adjudicate. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I, I'm keeping an eye on the peace office, shall we say. Yeah, okay, good. Uh, so chat had an interesting question. Where do we think the revolution is going to start? Uh, don't know. It can't till the age changes, so it can't for another 10 years. Yes. Or seven years seven or whatever years. it is. So, so it's 1710 when it can when it can start. Oh, sorry, there's been a peace deal. So Brazil ah, has right. now pieced out Inca and now have a Pacific coast. Doesn't look like they've taken a huge amount of land, though. Let's just go and switch over to Inca. How many gold mines have they taken, though? Oh, is that what those are? No. Nope. Okay, they've actually taken a bit more land than I thought. These provinces are smaller. So, yes, they've taken one, two, two gold mines, a gem mine, salt, wool, and fish. I think that qualifies as quite a lot from my perspective. Yeah. Two gold mines is a pretty major. Out of the eight or nine that the Inca controlled? <laughs> yeah. Inca and Texas both have enormous quantities, don't they? Yes. Texas now in particular. In fact, that would be an interesting one. How much is Texas making from gold? 69. Actually, Andalusia makes more money from gold than Texas does. Andalusia's gold income is 107. Oh, the other thing that it's been suggested you might want to have a look at is who everyone's voting for for who the next emperor will be. Oh, dear. Uh, interesting. <laughs> Not Austria. <laughs> that was the point. Those are all players, remember. Mm -hmm. Every single elector is a player. This definitely will have no consequences <laughs> next session. None. <laughs> mm -mm. <laughs> yeah, I believe he was watching the stream, so he can have a look at that as yep, well. Yep, I, I will leave this here for a moment so that the Emperor can can look and see who the traitorous nations are. The answer is all of them. <laughs> it really is, isn't it? It's interesting to see who's voting for whom. Sweden voting for Hamburg, I'm surprised by that. <laughs> Prussia's not. Prussia's voting for themselves. Commonwealth is voting for themselves. <laughs> Fewer's found them. Just a second. <laughs> so the Papal States currently voting for Prussia. Prussia currently voting for Prussia. The Netherlands currently voting for Prussia. So at the moment, Prussia would win. Britain's voting for the Commonwealth. Whoops. We have a hot join coming in. Oh, Fewer's actually logging in. I didn't think he could. Perhaps it is the Emperor that is the treacherous one. Oops. If I don't do that, then it goes all shaky. I'm just seeing what chat's saying. There's a massive talk going on in the administrator box right now. Fewer, Calico, Legit Player, Foul, Poet, Japan, Slurf, and the Martian, Torsion. There's a pretty big discussion going on in there at the moment. Doesn't Dev show up in the balance? Yeah, overall development does, not average. 
Development map mode. You know what? That would be a good way of checking out. I can't because... Oh, no. Now I can. So if we go economic and development. I mean, it's, it's going to be poor because there are one or two provinces which are just astronomical. Everything else is going to show up as red. And the papal states just declared around Brazil. <laughs> poor Brazil. Everything bad is happening to them at the moment. 5, 9, 11, 6, 11, 6, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 4, 3, 5, 7, 7, 7, 32 in Parambo. Rio is a 21. 28 down there in Rio de Plata. 79, 76, 79, 81. So Britain's currently winning the, uh, the race of the biggest province. Hello, Mildred. Hello. Um, if you're wondering what just happened there, fewer the Austrian player um, logged in in very briefly in order to piece that out and set his AI settings. Okay. Makes sense. Uh, I don't think he's actually in a position to actually play proper. He's still in at the moment. Yeah, well, I guess he's setting his AI settings. Yeah, I think so. Um, so, other news. Brazil is now at war with the Papal States. This is the Papal-Brazilian Imperialist War. Oh, right. Papal States uh, going for a very simple goal. They're going for Rio. Well, Imperial Wars always yeah, go for the capital. Always the capital. So, what is the Papal States' goal here? Andalusia, I'm guessing. I have no idea. Um, the... They're still discussing with each other. Oh, right, yes. They finally moved out, out of, of my channel. <laughs> hey, <Val. laughs> I had six players in the channel all at once. I noticed. I, I was kind of keeping note on who exactly was in there. I was like, yeah, there's there's a few people. Yeah, it got a bit... Um, yes, they seemed to have decided to have a row in my channel, which was not really what it's meant to be for. So I, no. was, I told them to move out or I'd kick them out. And then, yeah, there's a bunch of other channels where they can do that. Exactly. Um, yeah, um, I think that I think they've got that sorted. Fewer still logged in, but I don't know how long he'll be around for. Uh, someone did ask, which seemed like a reasonable question: Are we planning on running late, and if so, how late? Given, given yeah, um, let's run so. until twenty past. Okay, I'll let people know. Okay, cool. I'm intrigued what this war's about because right now nobody is moving. But they haven't pieced each other out yet. Wait, what? Who's Delhi fighting? Oh, Delhi's... Wait, who's Delhi allied to? Delhi is allied to Brazil. Okay, so Brazil has actually found themselves a new ally. I'm guessing the Papal States are demanding some territory in Iberia. But they're not currently fighting for it. At least not very hard. I just noticed that Papal States don't actually have a contiguous border down here. Albenga is currently controlled by Milan. How's Britain these days? Britain's surviving. They won their war against the United States, you'll be happy to know. And they've completely surrounded the US in terms of colonies. Papacy is no real state to demand anything. I don't know about that. The Papal State is one of the richest players. They have a crazy amount of manpower. And don't forget that Andalusia just got out of an extremely expensive war against the Inca. Brazil's going to be in no position to help them. I would actually put my money on the Papal State's winning if there was a fight. But there are no hostile moves right now. Because, yeah, the Papal States do have a big military. They have 153,000. And Lucia, on the other hand, have 280. But a bunch of them will still be in the Americas that they need, need to ship home, which isn't going to be that difficult. Ah, here we go. Papal States are down on the Grain Coast. Are they trying to take more of this?
Yeah, I have no idea what this war is over. Andalusia had moved troops up into Tunisia. They're now backing off. Tunisia is not in this war. The Pope's been a pretty significant nation for so long in this campaign. Do not underestimate him. Yeah, exactly. The Pope is probably one of the strongest underrated players. Like, I would have said the strongest underrated was Andalusia. Now I would say it's the Pope. <laughs> Stop building heavy ships. I can't keep building more than the next two combined. That's interesting. So how is the naval race at the moment? In terms of heavy ships, we've got Great Britain with 95, Hindustan with 58, Magandanao with 44. So our Filipino Navy is actually the third greatest in terms of heavy ships. The Netherlands coming in with 34. I'm surprised that the Netherlands don't have more. They are over their force limit and it is primarily light ships. Hamburg's light ship fleet is enormous, 197. And Great Britain only just over their force limit. Andalusia's navy is primarily transports. So if we go to the totals... Hamburg's navy is currently the mightiest in the world at 245. Great Britain in second with 243. The Netherlands 215. Papal States are 205. And Lucia with 154. Papal States have 45 galleys. They have no heavies. They probably do want to start transitioning over to galleys. Uh, to heavies, rather. They've definitely got the money for it. Instead of having 45 galleys, have 45 heavies. Then they really would be a massive nibble power. And again, the one notably to have fallen from grace is the Ottomans. The Ottomans have had the biggest fleet for most of the game. They don't anymore. Meanwhile, this papal war is still ongoing. What's the goal here? Have they just forgotten they're at war? And the Pope is the best government reform in the game. The extra policies will be really impactful now we're in the sixth idea group. Yeah, the Pope and Sweden both have it. Well, Sweden have it as a national idea, but the Pope has it as a reform. Austria has no air, which is why the HRE isn't voting for you. Gotcha. Are they fighting over South Africa? Nope, South Africa's Dutch. Okay, so they have taken... Ezoron Gondo from Andalusia down there. But they're going to need to take a lot more than that. Unless this is just a pre-decided peace deal. Where they just had to take that. Which is possible. Andalusia is taking a lot of money. Or building a lot of stuff. They're building stuff. Fortresses. Many, many fortresses being ordered. And also many, many, many heavy frigates. So the Pope is building up a light ship fleet. They are also busy fortifying... Oh, these are the level 8s, aren't they? Yeah, they're upgrading the level 6s to level 8s. That makes sense. Again, war through deterrence, or... No war through deterrence. Papal State would be a pain to conquer. So Texas is currently fighting against Osage, Asimbone, and Kyobwe. So trying to take out some more of the natives. The United States, meanwhile, not able to expand at all. So their three... Oh no, their three colonists are all in use. But they are just developing as opposed to colonizing. Fair enough. Good use of them. And the United States, what is their development right now? 514. Catholic zealots are about to rise up. Austria currently has a personal union on monarch death alert. Prussia and the versus the Commonwealth. Oh, interesting. 
This could really tear them apart. Meanwhile, Euron's been really quiet, Timurid's been really quiet, Shan's been really quiet, Hindustan's been really quiet. We had the mass, well, the, the big war against the United States, the massive war against Inca. New Carthage. Tunis has been expanding. Even actually got some lands back here somehow. Oh, this is all colonizable. That's how they would have done it. And that's in a different colonial nation. I mean, they can give it to New Carthage if they wanted to. They're still being colonized. It might actually be in New Carthage's colonial region. It is. This is all Colombia. Right, so starting from the bottom, let's take a look at which national ideas people have been taking. So Hindustan are currently on innovative, quantity, economic, quality, trade, and defensive. So they have three military, two admin, one diplo. And are currently running with trade efficiency production, development, land force limits, merchants trade steering, trade efficiency, goods produced, discipline, and combat ability policies. So a pretty good spread there from Hindustan. Shan have got economic, quantity, defensive, religious, quality, and trade. Actually, Hindustan's got a lot of policies. That means they're going to be losing a lot of points. But they are running with all level 5 advisors. They can absolutely afford that. Meanwhile, Shan have got level 3, 2, 3. And their ideas are quality, which they're still working on, trade, which they're still working on, religious, which they're still working on, defensive, which they're still working on, and then quantity and economic. And they've only got one policy at the moment, which is agricultural cultivation, which is development and land force limits. They don't have any others that are actually available yet. Otherwise, I'm sure they'd be using the free slots. Then after that, we've got Texas, who is running with expansion, plutocratic, economic, offensive, trade and quality. Trade and quality, they are still working on. And their policies are production efficiency, manpower, tax modifier, republican tradition. The republican tradition is still fairly low, although they do have a 225 ruler. He's only 39, so this guy does have some potential in the future. Not earning a huge amount of admin, but getting a decent amount of these, especially military. 143, they could do with upgrading the... Uh, Admin guy, I think. Especially as they are making more than enough money to actually be running with better admin... Uh, better advisors. Next up we have Andalusia. Their ideas are defensive, economic, quality, offensive, innovative and trade. So three military, two admin, one diplo. Their advisors are all level fours. Decent spread. Good ruler too. 562. Not bad, not bad. That is over the 10 average. And their policies are production efficiency, manpower, national tax, trade efficiency, merchants, trade steering, discipline, artillery and infantry combat abilities. And I noticed that the Papal States are pieced out. So it does look like the deal here was Papal States were taking this province. And then Hamburg was briefly fighting against Sweden there. Probably another exchange of territories. Hamburg still currently fighting against Havana. Taking back their... Oh! Hamburg took the whole of Cuba. This was all Swedish. So Hamburg must have just bought that. Hamburg currently with 3,000 in the bank. Sweden with 400. Is Sweden building anything? No. What did Sweden get in exchange?